In this video, we're going to learn how to create a parameter, which means our end user will be able to select a criteria to um, give them what they want, what they want to see in the report. So let's go over here to Parameter Fields, right click and click on New. This is going to be a parameter based on the territory. We're going to make this dynamic, which means that if a, if a territory is added to the database, it'll automatically be, be added to the choices for your report. And then we can say for prompt group text, say enter territory. And then down here, click to add an item. Drop down and click on territory ID for our value. And our description is going to be territory, uh, sales territory name. And then click here to create a parameter. Down here, we're going to allow multiple values, which means they can select more than one. And that's all we are going to change here. Say OK. And it's created our parameter. So now the second step is to go into our select expert, which is here, this little funnel icon, and create a selection criteria. So go down to sales territory, find our territory ID, which was our value, say OK, and click down to as equal to drop to our, see uh, our parameter here shows up territory and say okay great so now whenever the your end user runs the report it's going to prompt them to enter the the uh, territories they want to see in this report so let's let's look at the all the US territories Northwest Northeast Central Southwest, Southeast. OK. Say OK. And you can see it automatically limits our report to just these territories. So you see we have Central there. So you see down here, if you click on groups, you see Central, Northeast, Oops, which I just drilled down to. Northeast, south, Southeast, and Southwest. And that's how you create a parameter.